Hi everybody, welcome to Amy Nolte Music. Today I'd like to show you a project that I've been working on recently with my friend Gerhard Guter. Gerhard is so cool. He's a multi-instrumentalist. He's like a Pro Tools master. He arranges, he sings like a beast. Well, no, he sings beautifully. He kind of does it all. And what he did a couple of months ago was email me and ask me if I would be the vocalist for his new big band arrangement of Pure Imagination, the song that came from the Willy Wonka movie. Now usually this song is rubato and in 4-4. Four, four. Da 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 do 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 boo, right? But he put it in three. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. It sounds really, really good in three. It was a really good idea. And I kind of wanted to tell you, well, first that it's available. So all of you band directors out there, this is an amazing option. If you want to include a vocalist in one of your arrangements for your next concert. Now the vocalist needs to be an alto, which is cool because most arrangements for big band and singer are for tenor or soprano, but this is for alto or bass. It's nice and low. It was really easy for me to do. I like that. It, it also isn't too, too rangy. I think Gerhardt was so smart about the way he recorded it too. I want to tell you about that. But first I'll mention that the chart is appropriate for it, like advanced intermediate, or you might call it a grade four. It's for really adept high school band or just pretty average college band. So you can get this arrangement on Sheet Music Plus, which is one of the many places that you can get Gerhard's arrangements. Also um, e-jazz lines and sound music publications and uh, the UNC Jazz Press, lots of places. And he does great work. But Gerhard kind of fooled me when he sent me this track. When I first heard the track, I couldn't quite tell if it was being played live or MIDI, but I had to ask Gerhard how he recorded it, and I was really surprised at his answer. So it turns out that Gerhard, since he plays lots of instruments, he bought himself the Roland AE-10 Aerophone, which is like an iwi, like an electronic wind instrument, and Gerhard actually played every single saxophone part and every trombone part. I guess he, he probably laid down the rhythm section just using band in a box or something, but then trumpet, I think, happens to be his main instrument, and he actually laid down the trumpet parts himself, just with his trumpet. So it'll kind of fool you and I think it's a really good technique he uses to make his tracks, you know, on these websites where you can purchase jazz arrangements, his tracks are gonna stand out from everybody else's who are just using MIDI sounds. Because even just, you know, recording real trumpet with the rest being MIDI, it'll kind of fool you. You'll wonder if everything was real or not. So that's nice. It's like a little touch of class. Sometime I'll have to get Gerhard on here to tell us about his equipment and how he records everything. But I wanted to let you know that if, if you want any kind of arranging lessons or Pro Tools lessons, Gerhard is your man. This is his email address and you can write to him. He's looking for students and he's very good and so easy to get along with. This is like a commercial for Gerhardt. What the heck? Let's go ahead and listen to the chart. I, I did want to say that there are some tricky parts in that there are some transitions with fermatas where the vocalist needs to, you know, kind of be free and the band needs to follow them. So those are, I think that's what raises the level of the chart for band just a little bit are these tricky transitional sections. But as long as the band is paying good attention to their conductor, there shouldn't be any problem. It was also fun for me to mess around with, there are some sections where Gerhard wrote some four against three lines. So it's like da, 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 something like that. And sometimes I chose to match up with the band, I think. And sometimes I chose to kind of juxtapose my, my phrasing with the band's phrasing. Those are all fun decisions you get to make when you're a vocalist in front of a big band. But hopefully the track I made, which will, you know, come with everything. If you decide to order this, you know, you'll get all of the charts, including the vocal chart, but, but you'll also get this full recording so that your vocalist and the band, you know, has something to listen to, which I think is really helpful just to help them know how it's supposed to sound in the end. 
All right, let's listen to it. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. We'll begin with a spin, traveling in a world of my creation. What we'll see will defy explanation. to 
you go to compare with your imagination so don't let it be free if you truly wish to Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to reach out to Gerhard if you'd like Pro Tools lessons or any kind of arranging lessons, all the way from big band to vocal group, your jazz combos, orchestrating, anything. He's your man. I'll see you next time on Amy Nolte Music.